Tabitha and Johnson. Coach. Tabitha. I'll get it right. Yes, Tabitha and Johnson. Post. Looks like you got a purpose. Come on. <laughs> With keeping the military in mind, coalitions tend to sometimes ready, shoot, aim, when actually we should ready, aim, shoot. The coalitions take action before understanding the problem. When coalitions do this, they lose their credibility. They chase surface issues and are less likely to see desired outcomes. Problem analysis can bring coalition to consensus about root causes, risk factors. We're going to talk to you this morning about six reasons for conducting six reasons for conducting a problem analysis. Understand the relationship between important community issues. Identify the root causes, but why in our in our community. Validate assumptions with community data. That's a part of doing your needs assessment. Figure out what's going on in our community and have the data to prove it. Achieve consensus among coalition members. You don't have the consensus among your members, you're in trouble. Establish criteria for selecting the interventions. That's your work group. Create a picture of the relationship between the problem and root causes. Example, logic model. <laughs> We also are going to talk about the techniques that you can use for your problem analysis. All right. and, uh, basically, what we went over before are little tools to help us you know, just find out what our problem is, just to explore and unpack the key issues in our community. Of course, the five whys. Um, you know, why is this happening? Just as soon as you discover that, why is this happening? And you just work out from there. Um, Fishbone, got your problem? I actually do this myself. I'm kind of proud. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job. Um, you have the ABCs and the root causes. Um, main reason is just to find your risk factors, and then your local condition is, is the why here. So to see. <laughs> 